Now what we need to do is now remember I am replacing these rotors. If you are not replacing the rotors, you shouldn't be doing all this. But uh, if you're replacing the rotors, don't be afraid to just use whatever regular hammer and uh, just get it done, okay? So here we go. Let's hope for the best. Now this is what it's going to look like, okay, if you have drums in the back especially. But uh, you don't have to mess with any of this because it should still have plenty of... I mean, i got to change them, but I, don't, I haven't bought them yet, so once I buy them, I'll do it. So make sure you uh, get some like anti-seize or something like that and put it on your uh, threads right here for your rotors. So you don't have to strip your screws and drill them out. So... All right, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna compress the caliper, which we should have done that earlier, but we'll do that right now. We get one of the old brake pads, put it on there. And then you can use a C-clamp. Some people use C-clamps. 